After making my Moori clock, I get interested in a very similar effect, lenticular animations. You've probably seen this effect before, for example, on postcards, like this one, where you have like an animation that is showing depending on the viewing angle. So this is made from an array of cylindrical lenses that is placed on top of uh, several interlaced pictures and depending on the viewing angle you can distinguish these individual pictures. And my idea was to create a clock using this lenticular animation to change the digits on the clock face. And there are different kinds of lenticular sheets depending on the number of lenses per inch or LPI. So this here for example has 40 LPI and this here has just 20 LPI. And I found that if you want to have a large number of frames in your animation, like I wanted to have with my clock, which has up to uh, six digits uh, showing on a single lenticular sheet, uh, then this is only possible with uh, 20 LPI or less. Also, these high number of, of LPIs, they are very difficult to align and also you need to have a higher resolution on your printer. When you get a sheet with 20 LPI, you need to determine the exact LPI values because of manufacturing tolerances in an lenticular sheet and also because of tolerances of your printer. For this you can use uh, calibration sheets. There are several softwares which can create these calibration sheets and I tried them. In the end, they didn't work so well, so what I did is I just printed out my design with different LPI values and then just tried them out and used the one which uh, looked the best. To create uh, these interlaced images, there are several softwares also. I used Grape, which is freeware. So first I created images for each digit from 0 to 9 and then I grouped these according to the hours, minutes that I wanted to have displayed on my clock. And then I interlaced them. I also gave the digits different colors so that you can distinguish them more easily. And after interlacing, I then printed them on a self-adhesive transparent foil. Before printing, I mirrored the image also so that I can then attach it to the back of the lenticular sheet. I also covered the printed design with another layer of transparent foil so that the print is protected and the ink does not rub off. The interlaced images created by Grape have these alignment marks which greatly help you to align the pictures correctly to the lenticular sheet. In order to be able to move the self-adhesive foil on the lenticular sheet, I sprayed the sheet with soapy water and then afterwards you can just squeeze out the water so that the foil attaches to the sheet. I then cut the lenticular sheet with the design so that only the image remains and I cut off the alignment marks. This was quite some work as the lenticular sheet is quite thick, about 2 mm. I used a box cutter and this took quite a long time. The lenticular sheets are then attached to 3D printed holders that were printed from white PLA and for the digits that are on the hours and on the minutes these holders have two sides so one side for the digits from 0 to 4 and the other side for the digits from uh, 5 to 9. These holders are then later attached to the servo motors and I also 3D printed a housing that houses electronics and uh, where the servo motors are attached. For the digit holders that have digits on both sides, you need a servo motors that can rotate more than 180 degrees. So I choose servo motors which can rotate up to 270 degrees. The servo motors are controlled by a PCA9685 PWM board which is connected to an ESP8266 uh, VMOS board. The VMOS board connects to your local Wi-Fi and then fetches the time from an NTP server. For a final touch, I added to the bottom another lenticular animation which switches between two texts. 
and this was done using a 40 LPI lenticular sheet that I had left over. 